Hey, good morning, wood butchers. Okay, back on the uh, footwear thing. I made a big decision on these, and I'm going to give you about a six-month update on these. I didn't want to post a unboxing. There's a million of these on, on uh, online. But these are the red back boots. And they're out from Australia, handmade down there, still made in Australia. I was looking for a quick slip-on boot. Uh, something was comfortable, was good, durable, uh, enjoyable to wear. So after searching YouTube, probably like a lot of us, came across these guys. Uh, if you look at another uh, website or another channel called Rose Anvil, they have some fantastic uh, videos on really how shoes and boots are made. They take them apart. They cut them in half. Um, you know, I'm wondering, I wonder if I should donate those down to those guys. Ah, I'm out in Canada. It cost me $100 to ship them down there. Anyways, uh... I like these boots. You know, they are a very good quality boot. Uh, there's a couple caveats, and I'm going to give this uh, sort of what I haven't heard other people say, because they say, oh, put them on, break them in, they're good. They're the most amazing things in the world. Uh, hey, they're a great boot. I love them. I do wear them quite often. Uh, not daily wear like my other ones that I have, my 511s, but I like these boots, and they're worth your money. Uh, up in Canada, I think it was about 255 or 260 or something like that for a pair of these. Again, I don't mind spending money on a good shoe. We're on our feet a lot of the day. Um, so, a couple things are, soles are the TPU, the thermal polyurethane. When I first got them, they had these air bubbles in there, and I was kind of freaking out. Uh, I contacted the manufacturer, I contacted uh, the place I bought them, and they kind of looked at a whole bunch of them. We went through all their stock they all have these sort of bubble patterns. So uh, nothing to be too panicked over. They haven't had any effect on the, the wear on the bottom. Uh, not a big deal. Uh, getting some normal scuffing on the outside of the heel there. So I'm okay with that. And my normal wear pattern, sort of the forefoot. Not wearing particularly fast. Um, you know, I'm thinking I'm going to get good life out of this tread. So they're pretty good on ice. Not fantastic. Uh, you know, certainly in snow, not bad. I, I've waterproofed these things with the spray stuff or whatever they told me to use, but I don't know. I don't tend to take care of my boots very good. I just kind of put them on, wear them until they blow up or die or do bad. Anyways, much like the uh, some the shoes I like to have are what's called board lasted. So they have a, a harder board on the inside and that allows, you know, a good insole or orthotic or that type of thing to sit in the shoe very nicely. Um, they are have the stretchy uppers, which is good, easy to get on. They kind of hold nicely to the leg. These boots sizing is a bit odd. The tens were just a little too tight on the toe, and I wasn't sure they were going to stretch out quite nicely. When I sized them, they said about this about a finger or maybe a pencil width between the back. You can squish it all the way to the front if you can put like you know uh, your pinky finger or a pencil in there. That works out good. That seemed to work okay. They do seem to like to have a thicker sock. So you're not going to be wearing these things barefoot. Probably not going to have a super thin pair of socks. You know, a nice pair of uh, sort of synthetic uh, or wool socks would work uh, really nicely in them. Cotton, not so much. Because you do get a little sweat. And that cotton sock and the inside of this being a little bit rough. I don't know if you can kind of see that. It's got sort of more of that suede sort of on the inside tends to tear up cotton socks really, really easily. So, and being leather, your feet are going to sweat a little bit more. Uh, I don't wear them full time. I do give them a rest in between wears just so that they can air out and, and dry out. The biggest issue I had for with them was the break-in. Oh my goodness. I, uh, I don't know if my leg shape or whatever is a little bit off, but this area up here, rubbed into my heel like something fierce like i'm talking i had to get garbage bag or those uh you know shopping bags from walmart or whatever and wad them up and put them underneath my socks to give a little bit of padding in here uh, i tried double socks that didn't work uh, i tried some padded up fabric that was actually really quite good like a, uh, a really slippery synthetic fabric like you'd have in like a neck gaiter or that type of thing put it underneath your sock put it in there double sock Give yourself some areas where this can be frictioned in. Eventually, this kind of started to stretch out. You can kind of see it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a curl there. There's some wrinkling happening in, in the leather, which means it's starting to break in. Uh, so this is sort of loosened up. 
I think some of this springy, springy stuff is uh, is stretching just a touch. Or maybe it's just the leather conforming a bit better. I don't know. But I'd say, oh, it took me probably about a good 60 hours of wear to get them to the point where I didn't need to, you know, extra sock or, or pad them. And now they're good. You know, they do have a little different uh, sort of set than I'm used to. Uh, the heel's a little bit thicker. I know if you go on Rose Anvil's thing, there's a lot of foam in these guys. And that's comfy. But it's a fairly firm foam. It's not going to be a squishy, uh, squishy ride. And it's got a bit of a tilt forward and a bit of a rocker to it. So it's a bit of different gait than I'm normally used to. Not bad, just different, you know. Um, I think they're good boot. Uh, is it a daily wearer for me? Probably not. Um, but they're really nice boot. If you're going to put jeans on, you're going to go out to the mall or, you know, walk around a fair amount. Uh, if you want to look something decent, you know, for a, for a, a boot, they look good. Um, I've had a lot of good compliments on them. I like this uh, sort of brown tan. Looks nice. Uh, the webbing looks good. Uh, these little straps are fantastic for trying to get it on uh, and uh, yanking them off. Uh, but most of the time I just stick it in, you know, through here. Boop. Pops on really good. Do need good socks though. Anyways, I hope this helps out somebody. Great boot. Watch the wear-in. That's the big uh, big concern there, okay? Double sock. Uh, maybe a polypropylene underneath uh, and then a wool sock over top or really thick wool socks. Or like I did get something in there, put it underneath your sock and pad that Achilles area. This is uh, a killer for the first little while. Otherwise, go out in the workshop, put on a good pair of boots or whatever you want. Go make a mess, have some fun, and uh, go enjoy life.